Hey there, welcome to uh, Unit 6-6. -6. We're going to spend another day looking at the quadratic formula here. Um, let's take a look at what we got uh, for our math career. Today is a physician or a doctor. And you can imagine there's going to be a lot of college involved there. And of course there's going to be some mathematics here for you. All the way up Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Linear Algebra and so on. I'm sure there's some variety in there for you, but um, certainly it's going to take some mathematics to get that kind of critical thinking and uh, and skill when it comes to working in such a highly competitive and important field. So today's standard, we're going to continue here in 19.0. Students will know and understand the quadratic formula and we'll eventually get to um, a proof, something we'll see in a few lessons. Alright, today we're going to solve the quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. This will be similar to, to a previous lesson. Our vocabulary here, again the quadratic formula, which uh, hopefully you have written down into your notes there. All right, let's take a look here. Quadratic equations can be solved, and here's a quick review. Uh, they can be solved by graphing. We can graph them and find out where the zeros are or the x-intercepts. We can uh, solve them by factoring. Okay, we can factor using easy x or even x-box, breaking it into something, uh, you know, two binomials there and solving. Sometimes we start off with something that looks simple like this one here, makes things a little bit easier. And uh, we can also solve by completing the square. Completing the square is where we find C or move it over or something like that. And we use the uh, parentheses with the square and all. All right. So, of course, we did know and we did learn how someone could come up with uh, something that will help us out here just to simply find the values of X. And we call that, of course, the quadratic formula. And to unveil our quadratic formula one more time here, remember it is simply x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac, all of that over 2a. All right, and of course we have a song to help us <coughs> remember that, which we did see earlier, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we have and will be practicing in class some more. All right, so here we go. If we go ahead and take uh, our quadratic formula, I have to forgive the x there on the left, uh, try as I may, it just doesn't want to uh, come out to be a full x. But just imagine there's an x there. And of course we start off with x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root. Of course you've got that song going in your head here. Uh, of b squared minus 4ac and all of that, everything, including the negative b plus or minus is over 2a. Alright, your turn. Let's take a look here. Solve using the quadratic formula. You're given x squared equals negative 7x minus 6. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is move everything over into standard form. So we're going to add 7x and add 6 and set it equal to 0. That's the best way to do this. That way we can find the roots or the zeros of our quadratic equation here. All right, so here we know that a is going to equal 1, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to 6. c is equal to 6. And that, of course, is from several lessons ago. We know that. So what are we going to do here? Well, let's plug in our values a, b, and c, correct? So wherever you see a, a letter B, you're going to plug in a 7. Wherever you see a letter A, you're going to plug in a 1. And a C, you're going to plug in a 6. So we do so. We get this. And now we've got all these numbers running around here. Just be careful. Remember that this right out here, this means the opposite of B. So we said B was positive 7. So this becomes a negative 7 here. Plug your value in for B here. A, C over 2 times A. And now let's just do some math. So if we start, what's the first thing we did here? We started by squaring the 7, which gave us the 49. And then, remember something we've said in the past, and we'll say again, multiply backwards here. 6 times 1 is 6, times negative 4 is negative 24. That's where the subtraction of 24 comes in. All right, let's move that up, and let's take a look and see what happens here. Looks like 49 minus 24, of course, is 25. So. If we take a look, let's do this one more time. We've got negative 7 plus or minus radical 25 over 2. And when we can't simplify the numerator anymore, we're going to split it into two different problems here. So we've got negative 7 plus or minus 5, because the square root of 25, of course, is 5. Break this now into two distinct um, equations to solve. You've got negative 7 plus 5 over 2 and negative 7 minus 5 over 2. This is where this plus or minus comes in plus 5 and minus 5 here. And just do the two separate problems. So we end up with negative 2 over 2, which is of course negative 1. What about the one over there? Negative 12 over 2 is negative 6. It comes out with a solution set of 
negative 6 and negative 1. All right, well done. So your turn here. Why don't you take a look at this one? Go ahead and, uh, <coughs> excuse me there. Go ahead and take a look and see what you can do with x squared equals negative 1 plus 2x. Let me help you get it set up. We're going to go ahead and move that 2x over and move the 1 over and set it equal to 0. All right, from here, let's uh, identify a, b, and c. Hopefully you got that far. And now, now that you've got a, b, and c, go ahead and uh, hit pause. We'll try to work out that quadratic uh, equation on your own there using the formula. And I'll be right back with you. All right, how'd you do that? Did you end up taking your quadratic formula and you plug in 2 for b and 1 for a and 1 for c? Let's do our math here. Negative 2. Remember that this is a. The b here is negative 2. This may be the trickiest part. b is negative 2, so the opposite of b is positive 2 here. But it's still negative 2 inside. Negative 2 squared will always give you a non-zero number anytime you square something. So we do our math here. We get positive 4 and multiply backwards. 1 times 1 times negative 4. So what is 4 subtract 4? Well, of course, that's going to be 0. What's the square root of 0? Square root of 0, of course, is just 0. So that leaves us a nice, easy problem where we end up with 2 plus or minus 0 over 2. In both cases here, we're going to end up, it looks like, with 2 plus 0 is going to give us 2 over 2, which is 1. 2 minus 0 is going to give us the same. And we're going to end up with our solution set of 1. So how many solutions does this have? It has one solution. And in fact, it happens to be the number 1. All right, hopefully you did that one pretty well. That's it for Unit 6-6. -6. If you'd like more instruction, you can navigate right there. Don't forget there's digital score practiced at the site above. Just click on the little practice with the pencil there, and you can have some practice on your own. All right, then. We'll see you soon.